What's doing here on Learning with Young today? We're going to be upgrading my 2012 iMac hard disk for a 1 terabyte SSD. The tools needed for this project are listed in this picture. Pause if you need to. You will then need to heat up the sides of the screens and the top to ensure the circle wheel flows through nice and easy, releasing that old glue holding the screen together. Once that's done, you'll be able to pull from each corner to begin removing the screen. But remember, there's two connectors attached to the screen that needs to be removed first. You can now take this time to dust out your computer and remove the old adhesive from around the frame. There are two screws that need to be removed. Adjust the left speaker, no need to take out completely. Then there will be four screws left holding the hard drive in place. Once those are taken off, you can then remove the connector from the old hard drive. Now this piece of the bracket you will hold to the side as you will be connecting this later on your new bracket. First we must remove the four screws around the old hard drive to place them onto the new bracket. I have in my hand now the new bracket with the SSD and the thermal sensor connected and I'm installing those old four screws onto it. Be sure to add the sticky tape on the right of the SSD from the thermal sensor. Now when inserting the new bracket back in the connector goes up top. And don't forget about the bracket I said hold to the side. You will be needing it now. Add it to the left of the bracket. Four more screws to go and your new hard drive is installed. Don't forget about the speaker on the left. We just moving them backwards now. Now insert the adhesive strips and make sure that they match your monitor for correct fit. Be sure to connect the two connectors back to the monitor before removing the plastic on the adhesive strips. Make sure that the monitor is lined up correctly and then you can apply pressure around the edges. Now it's time to boot her up. Now if you see the screen, just restart your computer and next time hold Command R or Command Option R and it will bring you to the screen and now you can restore from any on the list. What's doing? I'm Young from Learning with Young and I just want to thank you all for watching my first video and many more. Until next time. Later.